Well, excitement is building for the arrival of the Coachella Valley Firebirds. And this week, the new hockey team is launching its jersey pre-sale, but that's not all. I spoke today with the Firebirds president, Steve Fraser. Steve, first off, can you please share with us the timeline to build the Firebirds team? You, like when our first games might be and those kind of things? Whatever you, you can tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Peter, it's a great question. Um, we're working through everything. As you can tell, everything on the 10 there uh, behind Classic Club is going up um, very quickly. Uh, we're very excited. We're into the second level with regards to the steel, and we're looking to hopefully have a topping out ceremony uh, at the beginning of February. And with regards to, you know, timeline as that pertains, once the building's done, for the Firebirds, uh, we should have a, a home game starting at the end of 2022, uh, sometime in December. When exactly in December, you know, we're a little early on pegging that, uh, but we'll get there and uh, we'll definitely let you guys know. But we're very excited to be able to have our first home game towards the end of 2022 and uh, having everybody come out to Coachella Valley Arena and experiencing the first game. Very cool. Any big announcements coming up, for example, with the jerseys? Yeah, so we do have a jersey presale uh, that we are going to be launching here this Friday. Uh, so stay tuned, take a look at uh, cvfirebirds.com or shop.cvfirebirds.com, and we'll have the ability to get uh, authentics or replica jerseys uh, on the website from presale. And those jerseys uh, will be available in September uh, based on CCM um, supply chains and those kind of things. So kind of be patient with us on that. But don't worry, we'll be sending out a nice little uh, certificate and everything in the mail so that you'll have something if you do decide to get that before Christmas to put under the tree. And we should also remember there's a Firebird store on El Paseo and Palm Desert. Absolutely, yeah. You can check out the uh, the team store uh, over there on El Paseo Drive. Um, you've got all the different shirts and hats and uh, hoodies and, and everything. So it's definitely a uh, cool place to be. Um, we're always changing up the store. Uh, right now we've got the Christmas lights in there and everything. So uh, definitely check it out. And I know it's still early, but has uh, the team partnered with any local organizations or charities yet or, or, or gotten involved in the community? Yeah, so we're working very heavily with the community right now. We're working with some after school programs to be able to bring floor hockey or street hockey uh, to the students with regards to their programming and helping to fill out that after school program. Additionally, the YMCA has approached us and we're working with them with the floor hockey program and being involved with that, as well as other parts of the community that are interested in kind of integrating hockey. And the easiest way to do that without having ice available and those things is through the floor hockey and street hockey program. So we're definitely interested in working with all those um, various entities and bring the the sport and the understanding of how the game works and getting sticks in the hands and having people just have the first foyer into the sport and understanding some of the basic rules of how to play the game. And you mentioned the arena. I drove by it today on the 10. I'm amazed at how quickly it's going up. Yeah, uh, we're, we're very impressed. Uh, you know, these individuals with Hunt and Populous and everyone and the subcontractors, they know how to build arenas uh, and they're doing a great job in, in erecting this building as quickly as possible for the people of Coachella Valley. Anything else, Steve, you'd like to say before we let you go? No, I think, uh, you know, happy holidays to everybody. Thanks a lot. We're very excited. Lots more news coming into January, topping out ceremony for the arena and those things, but uh, we'll keep you abreast to everything that's going on, but uh, go Firebirds. 2022 is going to be a very big year for our Valley. All right, Steve, we appreciate it. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.